job just two weeks before becoming the first Middlesbrough manager to lead a team out at Wembley. Here's Roger Thames. Yes, Wembley and two unbelievable promotion years count for nothing when the league results don't go your way. Borough have lost four in a row, their fourth bottom, and a return to the third division was looking a real possibility. Coach Colin Todd, very much the quiet man of the partnership, has been immediately given the job. It's been obvious most of the season that Middlesbrough aren't the team that amazed the whole of football. But nobody expected Rick to go now. So, did he jump or was he pushed? The club say the directors and Bruce Rioch reached an amicable agreement to part company in the best interest of the club, calling it a sad occasion for all. A statement said they'd parted on the best of terms and his contribution to the rebirth of the club was unique and never to be forgotten. The captain, Tony Mowbray, and his team returned to the club without comment after training, where they'd heard the news from Rioch himself. The club chairman, Colin Henderson, praised the manager's achievements in a four-year reign. So what went wrong? Things change, and I think sometimes when you're looking at the, at the future, um, one's got to make changes to uh, you know, try and get an improvement. And I think that, uh, that our position at the moment is serious, and we have to, uh, to do what we can uh, to stay in the second division. Has he, in fact, been sacked? No. Um, we always have um, open discussions and we um, review uh, the business with Bruce and uh, it was really as a result of, uh, of a discussion uh, that we both felt that it was in the best interest that, uh, that we should pass. The Did first the team coach, Colin Todd, who has taken over as manager, uh, gave his version of events. I mean, Bruce spoke to them. Uh, they were disappointed at the time. Um, stunned by it um, didn't think it would happen but i think we've always stressed to the players that um that in football there's always a, a chance that if results aren't going well that people will uh, get the push and it. it's happened and it'll always happen but uh, i spoke to them after bruce left and and they responded quite well um what they said to me or what tony said to me was that they'll give us their full back and that's all i can ask for the fans who've seen the club win a place at Wembley for the first time in its 114-year history have also seen them slide towards the bottom of the second division. There's no fight, no determination. It's as lacking in all departments. Maybe a change at managerial level might do it. But I think it would be sad if he was sacked. Very sad. Although I'm sorry to see him go. He hasn't been doing the business the last few weeks. And although doing everything for the borough, you know you've got to think middle of a football club come first before any person. We've gone through uh, a lot of soul searching and, uh, and, and, and a lot of um, discussion uh, to really see what uh, we might do to try and bring about an improvement. But in any of these situations, the worst thing is to do nothing. Bruce Rieck will be remembered as the man who saved the borough. His partnership with Colin Todd, who's now taken over, was at the heart of one of football's great stories. The club were bankrupted in the third division when the former Scotland captain took charge. But the new board quickly discovered the team was to draw unimagined inspiration from the troubles off the field. The Borough Braves were local lads who played with unquenchable spirit and style. They stormed to promotion, bringing seams of celebration to a club that nine months earlier nearly slid out of the league. But there was just no stopping Middlesbrough now. The momentum Rear had built up swept them on. They even won a second promotion the hard way, surviving the nerve-testing playoffs. The whole town turned out to salute the man and his team who'd salvaged Middlesbrough's football pride. Rip was walking on water. Even in the first division, Middlesbrough kept on winning admirers. But winning points proved increasingly difficult. They were sucked into the relegation battle and a single goal at Sheffield Wednesday on the last day of the season sent them straight back down to the second. Everybody felt they didn't deserve it. But mounting yet another promotion campaign proved beyond the manager. The Borough didn't seem to have that same battling quality anymore. Yet still, Rio created history, taking the club to Wembley for the first time. But four league defeats in a row left the club fourth from bottom and with a different man leading them out onto the Wembley turf. Well, perhaps Bruce Rio's style of management won him the honours, but eventually cost him his job. It cannot be overstated that his achievements have been quite astonishing but his uncompromising approach maybe became rather harder for the players to respond to as time wore on. Bruce only knew one way to do the job, his way, but he won't be any... <laughs>